the following screencast is part you can use the tool to locate events within a waveform to locate events and place event markers. This time we're going to review the fixed time interval feature. Now here I have already opened up a, um, a file that contains an ECG waveform and then the associated heart rate. And to make it easier I'm going to turn the grid off. I've already set up my measurement boxes so that when I highlight an area I'm actually recording the delta time period. So this is 93 seconds. So this shaded area represents 93 seconds. And then the mean heart rate is 74 beats per minute. The maximum is 92 within that window. The minimum value is 57 beats per minute. And the range, the difference between the most minimum and the most maximum, is 35 beats per minute. I'm going to set the software up so that it will take an interval of five seconds and I'm just going to go from one five second period to the next. I'm going to go from the previous interval to the next and you can see we've shaded each one of these represents five seconds and then in this case I'm going to paste the measurement results down into the journal file and I'm going to say find all cycles and I'm going to open a new journal so now down below Unfortunately, because of the scale of the window, we're seeing overlap, but these are placed in individual columns. If I expand this window, what I can do, so maybe give a better demonstration, if I turn my journal off, I'm going to start again, come in here, go to my output, and I'm going to paste it into a spreadsheet. Find all cycles. And then in a second Excel will open. There it is. <coughs> if I open this up and we can see column one we've got the time period of five seconds we've got the mean value for that five second period the maximum the minimum and the peak to peak values we can make some changes in here if we go to display and preferences in this dialog box we can place, include the measurement name, include the measurement units, include the measurement parameters, or actually if I turn these off, hit OK, now it will probably fit into my journal a little bit better, in fact I'll turn this one off to none. And I'll come back in and do exactly the same analysis again, but I'll paste it back down into the journal. Go to output, turn that off, into my journal, find all, and there we go. So these are all the measurements that were recorded. Let me just do this again clear all that out. Start at the beginning, find all cycles, boom, and there we have it. The delta time period, the mean, 
the maximum and the minimum within the five second period. So you can turn the labels on and off so that it fits into uh, the journal a little better. But obviously I'm we're looking at a very condensed window here um, for the purposes of the screencast. If we were working on a you know a regular size window, you'd have plenty of room to put the units and the labels in. And we can manually advance the system through, like so, just to make sure that we are taking the measurements at the appropriate places. Or we can highlight an area, like so, and find in the selected area. Now the software just found the events that were in that particular portion of data, so it found 26 um, five second intervals in that selected area. Now that concludes this demonstration of the Fine Cycle Peak Detector.